Hi, and welcome to the Yarn Habit Geek Podcast. My name is Laura. You can find me on Facebook, Instagram, and Ravelry as Yarn Habit Geek. There is also a Ravelry group for the podcast in which you can find all the show notes and and, uh, take part in uh, the Doctor Who Knit Along I'm hosting, which ends at the end of this month. So, um, this is going to be possibly a short episode because I have no finished objects this week, but I've been working on just a few of my, uh, my whips. So, obviously I've been working on two, two of the whips are bunched in together because it's a, basically a group order, but hopefully the, um, next week I'll have done more work on all other commissions it's just this past week has been (laughs) not the greatest to work in because it has been hot and uh now with all that out of the way let's get started with this week's episode shall we all right let's get on with whips of the week which is basically about, well, I have it listed as four on my show notes, just so I know, but, but, uh, the first one is the group one I'm working on, which I'm, I'm sorry, storing the pieces in my lovely zigzag stitches bag. I got it my very first, there's Toronto who knitters frog and Basically, it's the uh, it's a part of the Amigurumi order group. Basically, last thing I worked on for it, which was this past Monday, since now I do Amigurumi works on Mondays. I worked on the two bodies for the for um, two cyclopses, and I just. Re- well, I do notice the size difference because it was probably different weighted yarn. Well, actually, probably different bike yarns. But they work with the heads I've got for them. If not, I probably got to pick up the appropriate yarn I used for the. Because, um. Obviously, things are getting a little hectic here, but. That, that's. My problem, not your problem. And next up is my Cozy Memories blanket. And I am still, basically I haven't done much, but I am working away on this square right here. Using the um, yarn I picked up at the Nares Frog this year, which is the colorway robin's egg that was made made uh, for the knitter's frolic this year or with a whole bunch of other from um actually i have can't even remember the <laughs> name of the place like thankfully i think i have this it was from cottage craft angora and this was made Especially for, yeah, this this yarn was dyn- designed for the Toronto's Nearest Frolic, so. And next up is something I kind of fo- was a little focused on, which are my griffin socks, which are also known as dragon's egg socks he- on Ravelry. But I've, I've passed the heel and I'm working on the foot with the gusset stitches. So hopefully I can have this done soon. Hopefully this sock will be done before the end of the month. So that way I can start work on the next. It's matching pair, so yay. And last, because I didn't show it first, is the fifth. Dr. Cricket Jumper and I finally passed a point that I never got when I was first working on this like years ago when I started 
and that is I'm finally past the body and now I'm working on the armhole shaping so hopefully this back piece I will have fully done by next week and hopefully I can get the chunk of the front done because I'm working this alongside the Doctor Who and along I'm hosting but yay and this is probably the perfect day I can finally show the cables because it is not bright out side for once so I can finally show off so yay so hopefully I will have this back piece done for next week hopefully and that is pretty much all I have whip wise and for this week hope I will hopefully have more done for next week because today has finally cooled down enough of where I live that I can work a little more comfortably and because it's um well it's a month it's a me problem not a you problem not a problem for you guys so but we all know it's just ridiculously hard when it's just hot oh, for multiple days at a time and it's like you don't want to work but enough of my ramblings I will see you all next week till then stay crafty my friends